Prior to Project Acorn starting up, we did a training for the YMCA staff. If we're going to make good on our plan to create safe space, that everyone needed to be on board with it. We open it up to everyone. The L, the G, the B, the T, and the Q. We've got it all in terms of uh, both our participants, our youth leaders, and our adult leaders. So it's a really good cross-section. One of our values is social justice. And so uh, when it comes to the barrier of, of uh, socioeconomics, often preventing people from accessing camp programs, that doesn't happen at Ten Oaks. We are doing uh, great things with a wonderful population, and yeah, it's, it's very unique. One of uh, the key parts of the Project Acorn framework is creating safe space. I spoke about challenge by choice, and so every participant is expected to fully participate in the program, and they get to choose what their challenge is. When they're uh, on the rock wall or the, cl or the high ropes, uh, if they want their challenge to be supporting people and to be up on the ropes, they can do that. If they prefer that their challenge be supporting people, that's cool too. So no one is forced to do anything. When we do the Across the Grass activity tonight, it will be done in a very respectful, safe space where people can go to where they're comfortable going and the only one pushing anyone will be each individual <laughs> making that decision of, of to what degree they want to disclose. It is amazing. Last night we had, uh, it was this Aboriginal circle where we all sat and shared things and it was so moving to hear everybody's stories and just feel like this is where you want to be. We're here, I think, for support and for maybe a little bit of wisdom. We had uh, three workshops. One is a leadership workshop, and that workshop is being facilitated by three of the youth leaders. They are part of the Youth Advisory Committee, who has been central to the whole organization and design of Project ACORN. So for the last year, they've been working on how they want this to run, and now they're making it happen. The call for Project ACORN for the Youth Advisory Committee came, and it was great. Like, sign me up for both. And the fact that they, they wanted to listen to youth, they're like, what did we want in a camp? What would we want as a space for us? So that was really exciting to be part of that because it's one thing to say, yes, I would go to this camp myself, but to say, I have a part in, in um, creating the camp was really, really exciting. Uh, so people are already starting to organize and so we are already starting to see that this is going to, you know, the ripples are beginning even before the, the splash has subsided. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're optimistic that the takeaways will uh, we'll continue to learn what they are as time passes.